So let me just take one on rice. Um, mm -hmm. I think the Ghana Rice uh, Festival is even underway. Uh, you have seen some stories like that. Um, there are some people who are suggesting that all state agencies must be forced to buy local rice for their Christmas and Easter distribution to mm -hmm. their staff. Mm -hmm. If you look at the amount of money we spend in buying rice for hampers, it's, it's a lot of money. With the procurement laws in place and every other structure in place, would you support this call that the state must do everything it can, even if it, we must throw away the procurement law a little bit and, 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 Lead join, by example. and join all the state agencies to, 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 to buy local rice only? for their staff during Christmas mm -hmm. and the other festivities. I am totally with you. <laughs> Apart from everything <laughs> else, the locally produced rice, nutritionally, is much better than the imported rice, most of which have been stored for a couple of years or three years there before they are imported into Ghana. So I think it's something we should really encourage. But let us do it immediately through persuasion. Every Ghanaian wants this economy to do better. So let us do by example. I mean, uh, ministries are buying this. Let the ministers take the initiative and give the direction. I am with you. But as senior a minister, idea. we thought... You, you, no, no, my no, no, representative, that being senior minister, you are the one who can read the riot act to other ministers and say, hey, <laughs> how come we are? How come people are still uh, yeah, distributing yeah, yeah, foreign yeah, rice? He has sold a very brilliant idea to me. <laughs> no, but you know this I, already. Can, I can assure you. So, so, so can we see a memo to agencies that this give Christmas. us your quantities you need for... This Christmas is a bit too late. No, it's not. But you, you let's, let's look at next year. You, you, next you, year, you don't need you, a memo on this okay. now. Okay. As he said, it's too late. People might have already ordered their rice. I don't know. We are already in the middle of November. Yeah. So about a month from now, people will start distributing. So if people have already made purchases, etc., etc., let us not force it this year. But let us do that convincing argument. You are very convincing in this direction. Let us talk to our colleagues that, look, this is our country. We want to reserve our foreign exchange. We want even to improve nutrition of our own people. Let's use the local rice. We want to give jobs to our people, etc., etc. I think it's... it's, it's I, I am tempted to be a bit naughty and put the minister on the spot. He said leadership by example. And he's been speaking about local rice yes, for a long time. A lot of times. He said even in 2004, your colleague in Nigeria mentioned yes, that they were yes. going to... What's your favorite local rice brand? Or do you know any of the local rice brands? <laughs> Apparently, I hardly touch rice as... Stable. Okay, uh, we forgive I, you. I, I live on Apmapesi and, <laughs> and, and, and Yam. Yeah. And, and the Yam and Apim, they don't have brand names. No, they don't have brand names. But I prefer Puna in the Yam. Of course. And Apim, Apim in the, the small one. Yeah, yes. The small ones. With uh, 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 My taste. Uh, uh, you don't I'm, even I'm eat too much rice. rice. I, don't, 